I was about 27 and I was having a routine eye examination at my local optician and he said to me, there's something happening at the back of your eye that I'm unsure about. You could just leave it, but I would encourage you to go and talk to an eye specialist, an ophthalmologist. After a number of tests, he told me that I had something called macular degeneration at its early stage, and then told me that for this particular condition that nothing else could be done. It was a shock. Uh, me, blind, that's not possible. I'm just normal Joe, doing my job, having a family, having a life. And the word blind really struck me. It was a real shock, it was a real hammer blow. I was just left to get on with my life. Within a couple of years, I started noticing that, that my vision wasn't quite so good. The impact at work was pretty significant. The overall boss of the group had to make an announcement and it was like I was going public about having a sight problem. And the reactions of certain people was, was quite staggering. Some people would stay away from me Others would be over sympathetic. And it was like I had no skills on how to deal with this. I can remember one particular woman, I was in the corridor, and she said to me, have you heard about that poor man in your department who's going blind? And I said, yeah, I think so, it's me. And she went, oh my goodness, and she walked off. The next really eventful period was uh, a few years down the road. Because of good support at work and because of low vision equipment that I was given, I was able to sort of chisel out a reasonable career, even including a couple of promotions. But one day, uh, when I was about 47, I literally had a breakdown in the office. I could not cope. And I walked into my boss's office and I can feel the emotion now actually, I just started crying and I'm not a cry person. I was sent home uh, and we had discussions at the end of which it was agreed it would be best if I left. I was so low I did wonder was this all worth it anymore. Um, it felt quite selfish to think like that and I managed to pull myself through but at one point I did uh, spontaneously get in touch with the Samaritans and I guess that was my first insight into what I didn't realise would later become a very important part of my life, the skill of being able to listen to people and demonstrate that they've been heard. Three years down the road I qualified as a professional counsellor um, and in that time I uh, negotiated with the Macular Disease Society uh, and in 1999 I set up the Society's Telephone Counselling Service uh, which I still run today. And it will be people that perhaps have just been diagnosed and I know what that's like. It's about building people's confidence so that they can perhaps use what resources are available to them. I don't have a problem saying to somebody at the bus stop, my sight's poor, what's the number of that bus? And if my self-esteem can cope with that, and, and in the early days many people can't cope with that, if we can help them to build that confidence, I think that would really help. And something around 87% of people say they feel an improved circumstance in their life after using our service. And this is why I think raising awareness about macular degeneration is so, so important and must continue and must develop. And I applaud everybody that strives to do that.